Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got some more Titanfall gameplay on the Xbox One. Now, one of the popular game modes that we we're playing was called Last Titan Standing. It's where six Titans spawn in on each side, and when one team runs out of Titans, they lose. It's essentially team deathmatch, except if your Titan dies but you eject from it, you can actually run around as a pilot and try and help the remaining Titans on your team take down the other ones. However, if your pilot dies, you do not spawn back in, so you get one Titan and then one pilot life, assuming you're fortunate enough to actually escape your Titan in the first place. Now, I've been reading the comments on my previous Titanfall video, and there's been a lot of criticism about the graphics engine and how it just looks like COD with jump jets. Well, the first thing I want to mention is that Respawn Entertainment is using the Source engine. It is a slightly older engine, and uh, the color scheme in the game isn't quite as saturated and overly um, exaggerated as a lot of other shooters are. So things seem a little bit muted. YouTube certainly doesn't help with that, but I have to say from actually playing the game, the detail in it is really impressive. Simply put though, it's one of those things that is going to be much more impressive in person while you're playing it on a nice high res monitor without sort of the crappy YouTube transcoding. This is one of my favorite things to do in Titanfall is grabbing a pilot out of an enemy Titan and just chucking him aside. One of the big things you notice early on in Titan combat is that working in pairs or working as a team is a huge part of being successful. A 1v2 Titan matchup is usually almost always going to favor the 2v1. I mean, that's kind of common sense, but rather than um, say a traditional shooter where you can kill two people with one magazine of a gun, in Titan combat, you're gonna have to dish out quite a lot of damage. One of the ways this can be done is by activating a vortex shield to not only prevent yourself from taking damage, but to store up a big volley of ammunition that's being fired at you, and then you can fire it back at one Titan, and if you connect, you will do massive damage. I've done over 50% damage to a Titan by hitting them with a lot of ammo. I'm sure you could actually do more than that, provided that you captured enough ammunition in your Vortex Shield. And you're gonna have to give me a little bit of slack here. I know my aiming is terrible. I'm, again, not a very good console player. As soon as I get this on PC, though, I can't wait to really take advantage of some of these weapons. The 40 millimeter meter cannon which I'm using right now is clearly intended for longer range targeting and I have a feeling that once you get used to the lead time that this weapon requires it's going to be one of the preferred long range guns just because of its uh, damage every time you fire you can also duck behind targets or behind cover and then pop out to take a shot duck back behind cover so the machine gun versus this weapon the machine gun is definitely geared at more taking out NPCs and taking out targets from medium to closer range it also favors somebody who's not quite as good at aiming, which is honestly why I was using it most on Xbox because my aim is not particularly great. You'll see here I'm about to fire a rocket barrage and once I fire it, the rocket barrage has to recharge. You can see the little recharge bar down at the bottom of the screen. And this is a good way again to dish out a lot of damage in a short period of time. I believe the secondary weapon can also be swapped out. Once you start ranking up your Titan and your skills, you can get different secondary weapons. So combining these at the right times can be great ways to dish out massive amounts of damage to an enemy Titan and potentially take them out before they get much of a chance to really um, engage you again. Also using your shield to absorb shots, getting close and then dish out melee damage is another great way to just absolutely like take down a Titan before they have any chance to really like hit you with their entire volley of shots. Now in the beta we didn't really get access to a lot of different ways to configure these mechs so we all kind of had the same mobility and stuff like that. It looks like there will be some smaller robots that may have better agility but for the time being there are some cool tactics that you can employ to try and maneuver throughout the map better. You do have the option to sort of do the sprint boost and you can do a sprint sidestep also which is a great way for dodging incoming shots, especially when somebody fires an entire rocket barrage at you. The rockets are pretty slow traveling, so you have a lot of time to do a, a quick sidestep and actually have all of those rockets miss you. Now oftentimes Titan duels can be very close and you can really be slugging it out and both your health can be dropping at the same pace and I find that that's probably the way it's going to go with skilled Titan duels. So you're not going to get too much of an advantage on somebody, probably your health is going to drop very similarly, but once somebody's health drops into essentially the red zone, the point of no return, it means their shields are gone and basically once the last little bar of health ticks down, their Titan instantly explodes. So 
Uh, when they're in this health zone, it means that they're guaranteed going to die. And if you're in a very low health situation, you may want to back out and just wait for their health to drop down. I mean, certainly you can barge in and try and finish them off, which is always fun and glorious. But if you're vulnerable, they can often take out your Titan with you, even when they're in the sort of dead zone. So that's a common tactic that I experienced while I was playing. Now, as you can see here in this sort of, I'll call it a noob duel, because that's certainly what it is. Uh, my opponent's missing a lot of his shots, but his rockets fire very slow, so it is hard to try and anticipate it. I managed to gain a lot of rockets here, and I get a decent hit on him. Not all of them hit, and then I followed up with a punch, which actually does a good amount of Titan body damage. I finally take him down. This is the red zone, and I can, uh, when he's in the red zone and you punch, you can basically punch through and take the pilot out of the Titan. Now, looking at the top center of the screen, you'll see my health bar and below that you see the health bar of the enemy titan that I'm currently fighting and that's just a really great way of trying to ascertain the situation and how much how aggressive you want to be and when you want to back off we just took out that titan from afar and there's definitely going to be some long range titan fighting and it all really kind of depends on what map you're playing but uh, as you can see the shield bar recharges and the health bar is permanent so it's kind of like halo 1 um, where you can kind of balance out how much how aggressive you want to be based on how much shield you have And sometimes it's really better to just back off once your shield goes down and not let them get too far into your health But there are some weapons and some attacks that go straight for the health I believe punching goes directly to a Titan's health and if you get a rodeo on a Titan That's where you jump on its back and kind of rip open the CPU core that goes directly to the Titan's health So that just mitigates the shield entirely now pilots outside of the titans have a lot of anti-titan weaponry one of the cool ones is just a simple emp grenade which you can quick throw at any titan and this will actually take down a titan's shields completely so uh, a pilot that you're unaware of while you're in a titan duel can actually deal a significant amount of damage to you aside from just rodeoing rodeoing the emp grenade will take down all your shields and then a good well-placed shot or well-placed uh, basically vortex shield um, fire back can deal massive body damage or a good punch or something like that so you really got to watch out for pilots and you have to make a smart decision of when you want to engage the Titan and when you want to engage the pilots almost always it's better to take out a pilot if he's exposed because you really only have to give him a few shots before he's down whereas the Titan is a big slugfest and you're gonna see here I get a good punch in but we end up basically disabling each other's Titans so uh, that's just one of the situations I was talking about earlier where even if you get somebody else's Titan into the critical state where they're never going to be able to return from it and they're basically guaranteed going to die, they still have enough firepower to take you with them. And briefly, I have some gameplay while using the quad rocket as my primary weapon. I am going to lose this fight here. But uh, this is one of the guns that I was definitely worst with. I'm not saying it's a bad weapon. It's just with my accuracy level on the Xbox, it might have been something that's a little bit more tuned to a pro player. And I just got punched out of my Titan and chucked across the landscape. And before I finish out this video, I wanted to address some of the negative comments that I got on my first Titanfall video. People accusing me that I'm just getting paid to say good things about this game. I'm not getting paid to make these videos at all. I was sponsored to go to the Titanfall event, and when I say sponsored, I mean they paid for my valet parking. The only document I signed was the NDA saying I could not post videos of this until the 12th. So you can take my opinion for whatever you want. I really don't care that much. I'm excited about this game. I love giant robots. I love shooters, so there's really not a lot that's going to disappoint me so far. Really looking forward to the launch of this game and really looking forward to the beta. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to get into the nuances of Titanfall combat. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.